Thursday, August 1, 2024, was a day scheduled for a nationwide protest over perceived socioeconomic challenges confronting the country. Voice of Nigeria's team visited the three armed zone that houses the Eagle Square and, of course, serves as a gateway to the National Assembly. On arrival early in the morning, only members of the security forces maintaining peace within the perimeter. We were told on ground that NKO Abiola Stadium was the venue for the protest. We took a short trip to the city gate and indeed we met several Nigerians in their numbers protesting over different socio-economic challenges confronting them. to assist Nigerians, to help us. That's all we are begging. We are not, we are not out to fight anybody. We are not here to constitute nuisance. We are here to, 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 to exercise our fundamental rights. Go to the market, things are very expensive. You cannot sustain. Your salary cannot sustain you. Why are they saying we should not protest? We must protest. The Nigerian government must do the needful. We are, we are closely monitoring the updates of the country, around the country. At the end of today and tomorrow, we will be able to access the strength of the protest. The goal is that the protest is for a 10 years period. You know, and, and we hope that the president, after even today, will just start meeting some of the demands so that there will be no need, no further need to continue. We have come to express our grievances and we must express it within the ambits of the law. Yes. We have seen the order of the court confining the protest you have to seen national the order of the court. We have seen an electronic order of the courts okay. that was served on us in my CV. CV have sent it to my ear, to my to my phone number, and we have read it, we have digested it, and we are going to appeal it. While the protesters were airing their needs and demands, another set of Nigerians won hand to counter that move. In a new government like this, eh? Me for my own, Tinibu is trying. It's trying. It, as the country they complained, the man did not went back and just sit down. He's trying. So let's give government time. The government is just one year old. Let's exercise patience. Give this government time. At least let's see the second year. Members of the Nigerian security forces were on hand to provide a serene environment for both sides to air their views. To be funny and they are trying to be difficult. But to me, they should go in there. The court has said that is where the protest will happen. And they should go in there. Whatever be their grievances will be heard all over the world. And so while the two divergent groups air their opinions and views, another set decided to make a dash for the Eagle Square. This is against the background of a court order that maintained that the MK Wabiola Stadium was the approved venue for the protests. Several cities across Nigeria have witnessed protests in the last few hours as Nigerians are making demands of the federal government. Meanwhile, the federal government has continued to urge Nigerians while exercising their constitutional rights to express their views to exercise patience as the programs of the President Bola Tinubu administration continue to gain teeth. The protest would remain peaceful and orderly such that the gains that have been made over the last 12 to 15 months should not be dissipated, that the momentum that has been achieved in turning around the Nigerian economy should not be dislodged, disturbed or dislocated. Experts and watchers believe there is light at the end of the tunnel and there's the hope that peace and tranquility will be maintained across the country.